Hello, Taurus babes. I hope you are doing fantastic. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I wanted to hop on here and do mid-February check-ins. So if you are seeing this around the 15th of February through the end of the month, this is for you. If you are seeing this earlier, it's also for you. I just try to post it a few days beforehand. So we're going to figure out what's coming our way. I say we because I am also a Taurus. I have a Taurus stellium, but if you want a more comprehensive reading, check out your moon rising or Venus sign for more details. But let's go ahead and get started, Tauruses. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps your girl out. We're on the road to 10K. Couldn't do it without you besties, and it pushes it out to other people that need to see the video. I would truly appreciate it, but let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine, because we are energetically aligned. What do my Tauruses need to go ahead and know for the rest of February? Please and thank you, spirit. Ooh, that was fast. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm not mad at this. So definitely we have been going through some trials and tribulations. Tauruses have been going through it for, I swear, the past three years. We're getting out of that placement. You know, I think the mutable signs have to deal with it now. Not as strong as in astrology, but definitely we are getting our karmic justice. We learn those life lessons. We were ready to move forward, close out those toxic cycles, realize the situation where it is that I've been strongly believing in fuck around and find out. I think, you know, you're realizing every action has a reaction. You're in control of your actions, your reactions, and your emotions. With the world coming out, this is a completion of a cycle. Lucky number 21. There is success. There is victory. You feel a sense of achievement. You know, you've been closing those doors, not looking back, not caring what people think. And this is bringing you into a sense of belonging with yourself. You feel complete. And now you're ready for someone to come in and offer you love. We got the Knight of Cups. So... This is your ideal man or woman. It's that knight in shining armor or running in on their white horse. You know, maybe they're running at the gym. Who knows? That popped into my head. But it's definitely going to be a romantic proposal that has some weight to it. It's not just a friends with benefits. It's not just, you know, a situation ship. They truly do care for you. And they're ready to move forward and be vulnerable and be open and honest about their feelings. You could be asked out on a date if you are single. If you already are in a relationship, it is taking it to the next level. But this is definitely someone who's intelligent, could be younger than you, could be at this point in time either a Libra or a Scorpio or a Leo because you're going to bring in the ultimate happiness out here. We got the best card in the deck, my love, which is um, the sun card. So that's all about positivity, being open, being excited about what the world has to offer, you know, feeling full of life, feeling financially, emotionally, spiritually free, and finally able to, you know, embrace the good in life. It's like kind of seeing the glass half full for the first time. But you're trusting your intuition with the high priestess coming out. Definitely, you might not know everything. You can't be in control of other people. You can't fix other people. Um, but you know you have a badass spirit team up there. We don't tell people who to believe in over here that are guiding you, that are giving you these signs. You're, you know, maybe you're noticing more outside of just your standard angel numbers. Maybe you're seeing repeating patterns, repeating, you know, random numbers. Like I always see like eight, 818, I always see, you know, different numbers than your standard 111, 222, which are great to see. Don't get me wrong. That means you're on the right path. But I'm just saying, pay attention to those things. Pay attention to, you know, the animals outside when, you know, you're going for a walk. Pay attention to, you know, certain smells, certain, you know, things that keep repeating in your life. That's a sign that the universe is trying to tell you something towards. And we got the Nine of Cups, so your wishes are coming true. You're realizing your dreams. You're having that ultimate fulfillment. Everything you want is at your fingertips. You can manifest yourself 
opportunities, you know, um, new beginnings, blessings. You can't manifest yourself directly out of poverty. Like, are you going to win the lottery tomorrow? Probably not, Bestie. I'd be lying if I said I agreed with that. But you can, you know, manifest those skills, you know, get that job interview and then go kill it. But you got to take the aligned action out here, Bestie. That is the thing. You got to walk the walk and talk the talk. You have to prove to the universe you're ready for this. And I believe you really are because you're letting go of the past. The Six of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. You're growing up. You might be healing that inner child, doing things for you, really focused on what makes you happy and focused in on the future. Splitting the deck, we have the Fool. So when they, you get an option for something new to come in, you need to go ahead and not think twice. Maybe you know you're an overthinker, you get in your head, you get stubborn, represent, but you're being asked to, you know, don't get, don't have a second thought out here because I'm telling you this new beginning in love is a blessing from, you know, anyone up there that you believe in. So it's a blessing from God, universe, source, that you deserve this. You learn to fill up your own cup. You know, now you're ready to give to someone else and it's going to work out in your favor. Everything you've gone through the through this point was building you up till now because we have the wheel of fortune. So good luck, destiny. This is, you know, the wheel of fortune has to slow down before it speeds up. Maybe you felt stuck, stagnant in this area of your life, but now you're getting this chance at love, this soulmate coming in, this new opportunity, this ultimate fulfillment, and you deserve it, Taurus. What else do we need to know for February? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, yes, keep your heart open. I think you're realizing that you're worthy of love. You know, you're not manifesting those negative thoughts, that negative, you know, self-talk, that self-doubt. You know, you are moving forward and releasing any karmic energies, any lower toxic vibrational people that aren't in your corner, aren't here to build you up, aren't here for your best interests. And, you know, this is pushing people to come forward, either take a risk or rise to the occasion, because as you ascend, you can't take everyone with you, bestie. And I think you're realizing that your whole entire vibe, you have so much to offer, so much to give. And the universe is going to give to you back with, you know, sights to see, you know, those sign synchronicities. I'm telling you, pay attention to them because they are revealing more messages than I could even tell you right now. Be careful. There's an entanglement coming forward. You got options. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. I think, you know, you'll know when you know, but um, I think you're very attractive right now to a lot of different people. And, you know, definitely people who have lied and ran away from connections in the past might be making a return. Definitely, they were very much in their ego. But I think you're ready for something new. I think you're not ready to deal with someone who's immature, who, you know, only wants to hook up, which is a good time. Don't get me wrong. Not trying to cock block you. But this person could have just wanted, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's it. I mean, role play, handcuffs, switch paddle chains might be some good times, but is it worth it? Probably not. Everyone that comes into your life is a blessing or a lesson, Taurus. It's just up for up to you to decipher who's who. I think, you know, you're trusting your intuition with the third eye chakra, really, you know, expanding your view on things and seeing people's true colors. But the universe has your back. You're protected. Nothing bad's going to happen to you. You're going to make the right decisions because you... You've been planting the seeds and you've been focused on this. With the abundance card coming out, definitely it's a situation you're accepting all positive outcomes. So this could be health, wealth, love, gratitude, um, really embracing this new beginning because at bottom of the deck, crown chakra, spiritual ascension, you are the phoenix rising. You are getting out of the matrix. You are moving into this energy of you know, embracing the new starts, the new beginnings, trusting when people show their true colors, they're meant to leave out here. And this is attracting, once again, that king or queen of pentacles splitting the deck. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe in their possible big three or their Venus sign, but they want to be your provider. They want to build an empire together. They're ready to give you that equal give and take. They do care for you. They fell for you unconditionally. Strong attraction, affection, 
please love me back. They're scared that you won't care for them, but this is protected from above. This is a blessing. This is a gift, and it's everything you wanted and more. With the Marry Me card coming out, this could be something long-term. That could lead to that marriage because we have the Union card. Let's celebrate, followed by the Root Chakra. So it's no longer feeling like you're in fight or flight mode. It's definitely a situation where you feel at home. You feel comfortable around this person. You can be your truest, authentic self. And they're about ready to blow up your phone. So when they come forward and they tell you how they feel, it's not a gimmick. It's not a trick. You know, no one's going to pop out with a camera. No one's pulling your leg out here. You deserve this ultimate happiness. But... Let's jump to the Rebel Oracle deck. What savage truths do we need to know for the rest of February? Please and thank you, Spirit. What else do we need to know for February? What are some hard truths that we need to know? Oh, God, that was a lot. Okay. You're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome your tired ass up and handle it. So, yeah, you're going to go through trials, tribu tribulations. You wake up every day like it's a new day. And I guess my Taurus is we got to stop sleeping so damn much. I love sleeping. I love a good fucking nap. But wake up. You're missing some cool shit. So put time, energy, effort into things that are going to serve you and push you forward. Because shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshit. Um, forgive and let that shit go. You know, it's not worth it to hold that grudge. Don't give energy, don't get time or effort into it. Heal it for yourself and be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse. Be present in the moment. The best way I say to be present in the moment. You know, say you get yourself, like I just did, a nice... A nice Panera supercharged lemonade, 390 milligrams of caffeine. I need it. You know, when you're appreciative of something, you feel you feel the emotion. So, like, watch. Mm. You feel that bliss moment. You can say a quick thank you in your in your head. You don't have to do it every time you sip your drink like a crazy person. But appreciate those little moments. That's a quick way to get yourself present in the moment. If you're having a good time out with friends, take like 10 seconds in your head, reflect on it, feel it, and get the fuck out of your head. Get in your heart. It misses you. So you really have to open up that heart, be willing to be vulnerable, open and honest, and whatever you're thinking about doing, don't fucking do it. Now is not the time. So if you're thinking about texting someone first, reaching out, doing some crazy shit, don't do it. And I'm just letting you know you got money coming your way. Make it rain. Any new financial opportunity, maybe a new side hustle, something along those lines. And just remember, you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. So maybe you're creative. Maybe you put yourself out there. This is a sign to keep doing that. Something can go viral. Use your voice. Use your platform. Do what you need to do and be a light in this world of darkness. But, you know, I'm a dark divine feminine. So fuck around and find out. I'm very nice. I'm very friendly. But release the bowl and you get the horns. But just know some good shit is about ready to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. So just saying happiest card in that deck. You got a lot of good things coming your way, Taurus. And when they come your way, don't get in that self-doubt, that self-deprecation, you know, don't get into that toxic environment. Like my device is, you know, drinking a lot. So I try to stay away from that. Maybe I do it once a month, a couple times a month. But as I'm healing my inner child, I know what triggers me, what's going to get me rah, 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 what's going to put me in a negative mindset. I can, you know, and do other things and be completely okay. But it is a situation where you have to find what works. You have to work through those demons. You have to overcome those karmic cycles. Because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over. And expecting a different outcome, Taurus. So, just know that. But let's jump to the Angel Answers Oracle. I want you to think about a specific question for the rest of February. I'm going to get you an answer. It has yes, no time frame as well as other guiding word answers so we'll spill all the tea and nothing but the tea 
But let's go ahead and get started. So think about that question. Take a deep breath in through the nose, Taurus. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do my Tauruses need to know about their specific question? Please and thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Okay. Oh, as soon as I went to do that, peaceful resolution flipped over in the deck. So better outcome than what you could expect. And within the next few weeks, so two to four weeks, just saying to start the reading. Um, But yeah, it's one of those things where it might have felt like it was right person, right situation, wrong time. That's what I'm getting right now. Um, you're building a foundation because I'm telling you, in the past, the answer was no. You needed to get grounded. Meditation brings answers. So I need to be better about this. I need to get back to meditating. Maybe we're going to start that on Monday and be productive. But really getting grounded and like I said at the beginning of the reading, you're in control of your actions, your reactions, and your emotions. And I think, you know, balancing it out, meditating, thinking on what you have to offer, what's worth your time, what's not worth a reaction. But I think, you know, you're growing, you're getting these opportunities, you're releasing any control issues, any need to know the who, what, when, where, why constantly. You're going with the flow. You're really standing in that higher, deep power and trusting your intuition. And you're knowing that as you improve your health, align your chakras, fill up your own cup of self-love, physical, mental, spiritual health. You take that time and effort and put that love into yourself. You know that there's going to be helpful people around you. People that are friends, that are family members, that are here to support you through this time this transformation, but you got to do it. You have to take that aligned action because I'm telling you, your situation, whatever you've been praying on, hoping for is going to improve. Like I said, it started out in the next two to four weeks. We'll look for a sign. I'm going to give you a sign of a raccoon. I don't know. A raccoon just popped in my head. If you see a raccoon on your For You page, and outside digging in your trash can doing the raccoon things um <laughs> that will be your sign that this is for you let me know if you made it to this point in the reading but i'm telling you there's going to be no need to worry you got this figured out i think you know you're learning when to take back your power take back your energy give to others you're really balancing things out and the universe is saying it's coming in perfect timing we are at play here. Divine timing is moving forward, but we're telling you it's going to be up to you. If you can keep your eye on the prize, you know, keep that self-love, that those healthy boundaries together, then, you know, you're going to start to see results in the next two to four weeks. Then in the next two to four months, it's going to develop even more. This is a long process. This is a slow burn because by the end of 2023, you're going to be a completely different person. And your opportunities, what you have to offer, any energy, effort, time, career, um, love, interests are going to develop. And it's going to be your year. I can tell you that. I know this is a reading for February, but... It seems like it's slowly going to progress and it's like wine. It gets better with time, bestie. And the universe wants to me to let you know that there's going to be a money opportunity, multiple streams of income. This is my throw bands on these hoes, throw bands on these angels. Money raining down from the ethers out here, protecting you, being financially free, reducing that stress, that anxiety from your plate taking it away and allowing you to really experience life and no longer be in that lack, that scarcity mindset and really manifest in these new opportunities, these new sources of income. And this is your sign. If you haven't been doing that, if you haven't been following your passion, you need to get after it, bestie. Start today. Stop making excuses. You can film on your iPhone. You can do a lot of different things. Google the best settings for it. And I film all my YouTube videos on my phone. 
Just stop making excuses. Take matters in your own hands. You deserve this happiness. You deserve this future. You deserve everything and more. You just need to believe in yourself. And I'm here to hype your ass up until you believe in yourself, bestie. I love you so much, Taurus. If this resonated, remember to be on the lookout for a raccoon. I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Join the besties. It pushes it out to more people. And you get a hang around. I've been trying to post more frequently. Let me know if you like it. And until next time, bye.